Shall we go inside? Yeah, because you don't have to look around the other side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. With close to a million citizens, Leeds is the third largest city in the UK. During the Industrial Revolution, it was a major mill town. Today, Leeds is known for its university, Victorian architecture, and fun nightlife. But I'm not here for any of that, because Leeds holds a very special place in my heart for very different reasons. When I was a little baby, my family lived in Leeds. And after decades of hearing stories about it and seeing photos, I'm finally on my way to see the house where I was born. As a kid, my dad got his PhD at the University of Leeds. He got two job offers. One was from the University of Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. And the other one was from University of Leeds. And he thought that Saudi paid more money, so we took Saudi. And it's so funny because my mom always used to say that had we stayed in Leeds, we probably never would have left. I would have had a British accent. Um, <laughs> definitely. Oh my God, I think that's the, well, yeah, I think that's the house. It would have been weird to like grow up kind of out in the country here. Like this is kind of countryside. It would have been weird to grow up with such a big yard. When I was in London, I tracked down the people who live there now, Joanne and James, and asked if they could show me around. And they were only too happy to indulge me. Hi, I'm Paula. James and Joanne. They used to live here then. I, I was born here, yeah. How long have you guys lived here? Oh my gosh, wait, it's my mom. It's my mom, hold on. Hi, Ma. My mom was really excited about me going to the house, so I tried to FaceTime her. Okay, Ma, I'm at the, I'm at the house. Can you push your little FaceTime thing? Did you press it? Mom? That wasn't gonna happen. All right, you know what, forget it. <laughs> so I did the next best thing. <gasps> nope, this is the view I remember. 103. This is the cutest house in the world. Can I go inside? Yeah, because you don't have to look around both sides. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. It's really small. As amazing as this is, I wanted yeah. to share it with my family back home, and since my mom can't handle the technology, I FaceTime my sister instead. Joanna, that's my sister. Hello. Do you mind so if we look lovely. in the upstairs rooms? Is that okay? This house was like a perfect little hobbit house. Joanne and James don't have any kids, so my old room was a storage area. Now we've got Christmas presents. <laughs> nice. Sophie's old room was a little bigger. Your room is like decent size. And had a better view. So your window would have looked out over onto Barton Grange. But mom and dad definitely had the sweetest spot in the house. Wow. Let me do this real slow for you. It's amazing. What a great room. After Joanne showed me the rest of the house. This is totally different from when I was a kid. It was time for me to say goodbye. But the house isn't the only place in Leeds my mom raved about forever. Just down the street is a fish and chips joint that we went to every time my mom didn't feel like cooking, which was, you know, every other night. My mom used to push me in a pram down to the fisherman's wife, which was the best fish and chip shop in all of Leeds. The Fisherman's Wife was the Froelich family's go-to dinner spot. And it's no wonder because the place has been serving up the best fish and chips for over 50 years. Can I look? Um, yeah, can I just get fish and chips? Do you want to try some peas? Mushy peas? Yep, mushy peas. Okay. Okay then. <laughs> Thank you. Let's do it. Okay. I've been hearing about this fish and chips for about... The actual amount of time is none of your business. Oh my God, I can't wait. I'm so excited. My plate was en route and it's piled high with fried fishy goodness. Ah! Enjoy your meal. When she put the plate down, a ray of sunshine came down onto this plate and like angels went. Ah! Let's see if the angels had a hand in making the mushy peas too. Okay, this by the way, just looks like baby food. I don't know if I'm a mushy pea girl. Maybe some salt will help. Ooh, no. I'm gonna save that for later. 
it's just a lot lighter. Mushy peas and all, the fisherman's wife still did not disappoint. Here's to my hometown Leeds and the best fish and chips in the world. Cheers. On the next episode of Abroad Abroad, I'm going on a treasure hunt, Brit style. And we'll find this without a GPS. I love okay. an optimistic guy.